um, if I give a lecture or something, I, I usually record and, and put that online. So you got like a little 10-minute video you can check out later. Um, or not check out, right? Like if you don't, <laughs> you're probably not going to want to go home and, and watch the entire class over again. Yeah, but um, yeah, so uh, we can get to that some other time. But anyway, so this class is journalism. It is uh, called Journalism Now for reasons we'll actually talk about today a little bit. But um, first part of class is really just I'm going to take you to the syllabus, just show you kind of generally what's going to happen over the next 10 weeks or so. And then um, you're going to get started on your first sort of uh, exercise in us getting to know each other and me getting to know you kind of thing. And then so if, you, if you like those kind of things, those kind of like light exercises, oh, well, tomorrow is like the best part. Tomorrow we have a little uh, competition that's going to occur. It's going to take most of the class period. But if you can go right now, um, if you can get your laptops going, that'd be great. And go to journalism now. Um, and you'll notice on the page, on the home page, if you go to it, um, the the thing I I don't even know if you can even see this stuff. But the, the things I have open for you to see are pages, assignments, and grades. Is that correct? So. I will bring in some of these other elements of Canvas as we go, but for now I just want to keep it simple. And um, the thing I, I use most is pages. I don't know how other teachers do it. I know there's like different options. But pages is the place to go. So why don't you go there first? And Can I add people to the screen now? Because I, oh. I just got my privilege, so I don't know. I, I'm not sure I can do that personally. and. Just in the interest of time for now, I'll, I'll set that up later. So, and I'll, I'll show everything here. And then you can watch the video tonight over and over if you want. Okay. Um, so there's, for now, we just have resources and overview. There will also be another page later for projects and assignments, that sort of thing. But for now, I just want you to go to overview. This is actually the same lesson, pretty much. <laughs> and I promise not after our conversation. I, I swear this is the only time we're going to um, do the same thing. Uh, but there's a, a journalism syllabus. There's a participation rubric. Don't worry about that. The journalism syllabus is what I want you to look at today. This is a summary of the class. And I'm sure you're getting this a lot today. Um, so I'll take you through it real quick. I don't expect you to remember this in any way. It's the kind of thing you, we talk about the first day and then we never go back to. Um, unless for uh, some sort of special situation. But um, journalism now is basically, um, you know, I, I wrote this kind of summary. It says, journalism is the study of the art of reporting and the profession of journalists. Journalism students receive instruction in all areas of journalism needed to both report on and appreciate the art and craft of reporting, yada, yada. Uh, basically, in, in, in short, this class is, a, is a, um, we don't have time for this to be a sort of, um, um, sort of canvas of all journalism. This is, the main goal of this class is very simple. It's to get you interested in taking journalism in college. <laughs> if I could kind of summarize. Yes, um, really? Great, perfect. Um, and if you're not, if you feel like there's no way, I really don't want to do journalism, you know, like it's whatever, I want to be a doctor, that's fine. But my goal is that you leave this class wanting to at least take a journalism class in college. Um, there's no way to cover it all now, and but what we're going to do is do a bunch of fun projects that will hopefully spark your interest in this, in, in, in looking at journalism more than just like something you, you read sort of passively if, when you read like the newspaper or something, or a blog or whatever you use nowadays. Um, speaking of which, this class is also about the state of journalism, which is we're in like a great time. This huge transition is occurring into multimedia, online world stuff, and you are a part of it. Um, almost for, for, for your generation, it's like, really, you're, I think you're the first people that grew up in it. So um, we're, we're going to talk about that a lot. Some of the essential questions, we're going to talk about what is good news? What is news? Um, why does news matter? We're going to talk about the First Amendment, which sounds exciting, I know. Um, but it is very important to you and your life. And um, 
basically we're gonna look at why it's so important to our democracy. Um, we're also gonna talk about how can students know what to believe, right? You see something in the news, how do you know it's true? It's maybe biased, especially nowadays, it's like everything's incredibly biased, Fox right? <laughs> we'll talk about Fox News, we'll talk about uh, everything, and I will, and you know, and to, to, do, to talk about journalism today, it would be impossible for me to stand here and say, this class is gonna be, remain objective, and I will, you know, be, show you the all sides of every story. Well, I, that's impossible. In fact, what I'm gonna do often in this class is I'm going to tell you my own personal beliefs, because I feel like that's, that's the only way out of, or sort of like ironically into a, an objectivity. Um, so we're gonna talk about that, and while we're doing that, you're gonna be doing projects. Um, first, you need two resources, the computer and this book called Radical Right, which you should get in the bookstore. Um, some things that are going, well, this is, I just gave you a kind of outline. The first few weeks, so we're gonna talk about journalism today, just the state of journalism today. Um, we'll read some stuff from Radical Right, and while we are exploring today's journalism, you're going to each create a page in the yearbook and I don't mean that in any sort of test, this is a test sort of way. Um, you will literally um, be creating a, a page in the yearbook for the spring sports section. So this is great project-based learning, real world uh, results. Um, you, in four weeks from now, take, uh, go on a break for two weeks and then you come back and we're gonna talk about what are the elements of journalism that existed before this whole internet revolution and and how are those things still going to apply after? Mo you'll, I think you'll find that most journalism is just gonna stay the same um, it, as much as certain elements of it are changing. Um, then, oh, you're gonna, um, for, during that week, you're gonna write a article for The Voice. So, yearbook page, article for The Voice, and then, for the last few weeks, with our other publication of the school, the RAM report. So you are all going to make a video, um, a two to three minute backpack journal. And um, some of you may know about that. You're the, uh, you've are the you been the star of those lately. Um, <laughs> what can I say? I know. Um, so everyone's gonna make one of those and, gonna, and you're gonna learn how to, um, even on the yearbook part when we, the, these next few weeks, you're gonna learn how to do photography. You're going to learn how to write captions for photos, you're going to learn how to do a little bit of everything. Although, I, again, I, this is not a survey course. It, you're, I don't expect that you're gonna master all these things. Again, I'm just, I wanna spark your interest in each one of these. Um, I want you to be able to see a movie or a documentary or a short video on YouTube and be able to look at it critically as opposed to just kind of letting it happen and, and just um, not questioning it anyway. So, um, same with photography, same with uh, text. Grading, the grading's pretty simple. Basically, uh, two elements to this class, participation and projects. 25% participation, 75% projects. As far as participation goes, um, you know, I wrote this in my kind of speech on, on participation. Class participation is based on active engagement in class regardless of one's disposition. So if you're not like a, a big talker, <laughs> um, if, you're, if you're not Jordan, then uh, you are gonna be fine. You're still gonna be able to ace that no with me. aspect. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be all trimless. Um, the, the ways to do well in that section of this class are really just to, to be actively engaged. And that means in every way. I even have um, a rubric we'll talk about later that shows you what other ways you can participate. It really just means like, are you engaged? Um, the projects are really the, um, each project, like the yearbook page, is a culmination of photography, writing, uh, web design, all these different elements that we're gonna learn throughout the next few weeks. So those projects will be sort of an assessment of what you've learned. And I expect everyone to do really well in this class. Uh, I think it's, you know, again, it's not like normal English class. Um, so that's the syllabus, pretty much. Any questions about what we're gonna do? Um, yeah.
That's it. <laughs> um, we don't have really like a textbook, but this this book, Radical Right, is like a it's sort of like a textbook for high school journalism. It it just gives lots of samples of, of great student writing. Um, that's that's mainly what it does. So pick that up. We're gonna start reading that. Um, not tomorrow, Thursday. So in the meantime, um, that's it for this part of the lesson.